Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2023, on this month of February 22nd, Wednesday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for every wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Last full morning, our Lord protected us. Let us close our eyes, lift our hands and last morning remember how beautifully how wonderfully our lord led us let us thank our lord hallelujah father thank you thank you jesus thank you lord thank you just look at last night how wonderfully our lord led us to sleep peacefully our lord blessed us let us lift a hand and give god the glory hallelujah father thank you thank you jesus thank you lord with good health and happiness and healing this morning the lord who woke us up for his grace and mercy let Let us thank him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. I slept because it is the Lord who sustained me. I'm awake this morning. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This morning also, Father, for miraculously leading us, for thy faithfulness. We tell you, thank you. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Abba, Father. Father, we worship you. Father, we praise you. Father, we tell you, thank you. For your mercies, thank you. For your mercies, thank you. For your mercies, thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, when we remember for your love towards us we tell you thank you that love to experience and enjoy it father and to live father this morning for thy grace thank you thank you jesus thank you father thank you lord thank you father the psalmist is saying in psalms 30 i will extol you o lord for you have lifted me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me o lord my god i cried out to you and you healed me O oh Lord you brought my soul up from the grave you have kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit sing praise to the Lord you saints of his and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name verse 11 and 12 you have turned for me my mourning into dancing you have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to you and not be silent o lord my god i will give thanks to you forever o god o lord my god i will give thanks to you forever let us pray together dear heavenly father for the wonderful blessed morning. morning thank you abba father last full morning for protecting us thank you for the good sleep you gave us last night thank you with good health for waking us up thank you this morning abba together to worship you to praise you for one more opportunity you have given to us thank you father we pray for everyone who is hearing this voice today father everyone in the jesus christ of nazareth in thy name we bless and pray for them your name that is above all other name In the name of Jesus Christ we bless your children in their needs thy grace for being with them father thank you especially daddy whatever your children are worried today when they woke up today the burden that came in their mind whatever it is lord jesus we pray that it roll up and go from their life in the name of Jesus Christ let that matter be gone from the life of your children be gone as lord jesus they stood before the tomb their sisters came in the tomb that wondering or worrying who will roll away that stone and this morning lord how do i handle it how do i face it whom can i give to handle this those who are worried those who are burdened and looking on the face of a lord jesus christ oh father thy children who are crying father we pray in the name of jesus christ that thy angels come down and roll up that burden from the life of your children we pray in the name of jesus christ Father let them be at peace this morning Father in the name of Jesus Christ let them be healed Father as you're hearing this voice today every condition of sickness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Father you who have the authority over heaven and earth Lord Jesus we declare healing upon your children in the name of Jesus Christ let your children enjoy peace every pain be gone every discomfort of cold Lord Jesus be gone every infection in the name of Jesus Christ we rebuke and command it to leave let your children enjoy complete health 
and healing, O oh Father. Daddy, thy work for being revealed in the life of your children, we thank you. For there is nothing impossible for you, Father, we thank you for that. Everyone who is suffering from cancer in the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Also, Father, those who are going through a thyroid problem right now in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Those who are going through financial difficulty, Daddy, deliver them. Miraculous deliverance for giving to your children. Thank you. Father, for thy surprise works that you're doing in the matters concerning finance, we thank you. Father, we pray for children who are writing their exams. Today, those who are writing the exams, we give them into thy hands. Father, you do a miracle. Father, let them be filled with thy knowledge, thy wisdom. Them. Holy Spirit for helping them. Thank you. In the authority, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless thy children. Hallelujah. Also, Father, where there is no peace in families, this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be peace in families. Let there be joy and happiness. Father, thy grace, let it pour upon your children, those who are having a problem in their families. Father, we pray for those who are ministering thy word. Father, bless them. Lord Jesus, also we give our meetings into thy hands. Let it be greatly glorious. Oh, Father, let thy outpouring from heaven above, be in the meetings. Let me greatly bless, supernatural blessing experiences, Father, to enjoy in our meetings, to experience, O oh, Father. We thank you and we ask of thee. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we make this prayer. Amen, amen, amen. Let the glory, the goodness, the joy, the happiness of the Lord increase in your life in abundance, I pray. Today further, we are going to meditate from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 32. For after all these things the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. Hallelujah. You, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. Through Jesus Christ, we have become the children of God. Hallelujah. To call Abba Father, the spirit of sonship he is given inside of us. Not a spirit of servantship, but a spirit of sonship. To call Abba Father is being given to us. So we who are the sons and daughters of God this morning, he is telling to us, all your needs, our heavenly Father knows it. Even before you had that need, even before you knew that a need would arise in your life, our God is the one who knew it beforehand and this is the good father we serve. So our needs, we don't have to be worried. In the word of God, when we read in the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis, we read there are many names of our Lord God and one of the main important names. Every name is important but one name is Jehovah Jireh, the one who provides for us, Abraham. When he went to sacrifice Isaac, Isaac is asking him, Father, we have everything, but where is the animal for the sacrifice? And Abraham said, the Lord will provide. And we know when Abraham is ready to sacrifice Isaac on the Mount of Moriah, we can see that an animal is kept ready over there. And the name was called Jehovah Jireh. In the book of Genesis 22, 13, then Abraham lifted his eyes and looked and there behind him was a ram caught in a thick thicket by its horns. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it for a burnt offering instead of his son. And Abraham called the, and Abraham called the name of the place the Lord will provide as it is said to this in the mount of the Lord, it shall be provided. So our Lord, he is a God who knows all our needs and he is a God who is kept everything ready for us and this is a father that we serve if we keep for our children everything ready for their education if we have pre-planned things for them and kept everything ready for them for their marriage if we have pre-planned and kept everything ready dear ones of god how much more if a father in this world loves his child hundred times fold, not no, thousand times more. No, in a manner that we cannot say, we have got a good father who loves us. So knowing our needs and won't he keep things ready for us. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides this good God. 
So when we face a problem, when there is a need in our life, we don't have to be worried what we will what we will wear, what we will eat. Don't worry for the heavenly Father in heaven. He knows it already. He has understood it beforehand and he will do a miracle. Be it sickness, be it trouble, be it difficulty, whatever kind of problem you are suffering. The Lord has found a solution for it. Hallelujah. The Lord has already decided what he is going to do for you. That understanding, that faith. If we have, what will we do? We will say, thank you, Lord, for what you have kept for ready for me, for what you provided for me, for what you are going to provide for me. Let the Holy Spirit help you to be aware of that. If you understand that, our prayer will be different. We will say, Lord, for you who has been providing for this matter, I thank you. That is what it says in the book of Philippines, chapter 419. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. All your needs, whatever it is, all that at the right time, he will fulfill it for you. So whatever is your need, if you are a child of God, all your needs, before even you knew it, before it was even revealed to you, the heavenly father knew it, saw it and the solution for it, he's already kept it ready. Just believe this word and with these words, let the Lord bless you. So whatever is your need, before that, lift your hand and say, thank you, Jesus, for the solution you have found for it, for the decision you have taken upon this. And whatever is required for this, Father, for you have that which you have already provided for me. I thank you. Say like this, relax your life and leave. You are going to see in all your needs a solution. And with these words, let the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our children will prophesy. Our young men shall see visions and our old men shall dream dreams. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will grow, we will increase, we will multiply and we will be great. We are blessed. We are really blessed. We are permanently blessed and highly favored. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you today. Hallelujah.